Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Back on my Reacts Request page for subscribers, and I see Sean Vidal with Dan Tominski, the boy who couldn't hoe corn. And check this out, look. We added hearts to all of our things here. And uh, we got new badges. Matthew's doing all kinds of stuff. See, look, we got a heart. Sean's posted a comment. He's uploaded a video. See all these things? Love it. Matthew, you're the man. Anyhow, uh, I'm a huge Dan Tominski fan. That should go without saying. And so this was an easy click for me. He goes, Dan Tominski and Jerry Douglas get together with some talented Celtic musicians to turn this classic bluegrass track on its head for the BBC. You'll enjoy this unique ver version, I promise. Now, typically, we can't do stuff from the BBC, but I noticed a little green thing. I knew it wasn't the BBC's logo, so this is someone else's um, um, YouTube channel. So for, for whatever reason, it didn't get flagged. So we're going to hit the button. Uh, I have not seen this. I know this tune. I, I've never learned this tune. Let's go. These guys are the best of the best, though. You know. Tell your little story and it won't take long. About a lazy farmer who wouldn't hold his corn. D, by the way. The reason why I never could tell. For that young man was always well. Real quick, basic outline here. You got D minor. Right? To B flat to C. So it's like six, four, five. Right? If you want to call it that, or or one minor, flat six major, flat seven major, uh, whatever. That's your basic thing. But D minor, key of F major, Ionian is, is your basic thing. Um, let's keep going. Oh, this barely gets he planted his corn in the month of June. By July, it was up to his eye. Come September, there came a big frog. And all the young man's corn was lost. By the way, you know how much... You know... How you know what your sense of timing has to be to just do that, the two of you, singing in unison? You know, they've always been, obviously been doing it a long time, and the rapport is very deep, very, very strong. You can tell by their facial expressions how they're waiting for each other. That first minute and 35, I could watch that over and over again like 10 times. There's so many little things in there, little cues, like where he's going to, you know, uh, where he's doing the little lines. But then you have Jerry just doing these little tiny little ghost notes in between that just really give you that little subdivision of timing that kind of to, to keep you in pace of where you are. There's all these little, little things where it's not just one note at a time. And they're not even like pieces of chords all the time where it just, it just catches you and it, 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 it keeps the entire vibe of the room. I'm telling you, go back and watch and listen for those. There's so many subtleties in this playing. These guys are, again, the best of the best. Love how they look at each other for that drop. But I don't believe I raise on brain. Yeah.
I gotta mention something real quick. You guys know how I am with learning the melody to every song that you learn. Because the secrets of how to take a lead and how to arrange it and how, how they all connect is with how the melody connects with the actual harmony, with the chords. Broad strokes here. He's coming in, again, we're at D minor, right? Right? All fine and good, right? Right? Like... Now, it goes to B flat there. And you might be saying to yourself, well, how does that work if I, if I go to B flat after that, after that? Well, this A is the major third, I'm sorry, this D is the major third of B flat. And then his run goes down to the B flat uh, note, to the root of the chord. So you're in D minor, right? Right? And you're shooting for that D, so the root, the tonic of D, and then when it goes to B flat, you're settling in there, which is the third, right? So you're immediately grabbing that function, but it keeps that key center, that unison kind of vibe, but then your inflection resolves down to the root of that flat six chord. So simple, so basic, perfect, perfect. So just know that that's why it works. When you're switching to B flat, you don't have to make the jump to some big B flat scale or, or move this thing around. Just know that that note, that D, it's the root of the key center you're in, but it's also the third of the chord that you're going to. And, you, and all your inflections, you can do on B flat major. And you don't have to jump all around. It's always the one little note, and it can be the same note that connects the two chords. And often, uh, in great melodies, that is the case. It's the shared things that connect to the harmony. It's not some big different jump. And bluegrass taught me that. That's why I, how I fell in love with this inside masterful style of playing instead of outside complexities. Sweet and pretty little miss, will you marry me? A little miss, what do you say? By the way, props to the piano player in the back, keeping this all dead on the money. Listen, listen to the comping in the background. Dude, he loves it.
turned his back and he walked away. Love it. Grab the A minor. Jerry Douglas, Douglas just looks right at him. He's like, when do you want to do this? When do you want to do this? You want to do this right now? Watch him. He turned his back and he walked away. Saying little miss you rue the day. You rue the day that you were born. Forgiving me the devil cause I wouldn't hold corn. Next tune. Yeah. What do you say? He said, that's a tune. Tell me that's what he said. Because I wouldn't hold corn. Next tune. Yeah, that's just so killer. Um, who gave me this again? Who gave me this? Who gave me this? Sean Vidal. Sean, thanks for being a subscriber, brother. Um, thanks for sharing this one. Uh, you hit me in all the spots here, man. Um, that this is this is my jam. You guys that don't know. Uh, bluegrass completely changed my life. It changed my entire musical outlook. I hinted at it before, but it's worth reiterating that, uh, you know, when I was younger and I was learning to play, learning my chords and scales, and when I was in school for guitar, like, it was always louder, faster, more notes, more complicated, you know, the things that would impress me. And as I, as I matured as a player, um, you know, the, the impetus of that, uh, the seed was planted with bluegrass. Uh, I um, started to really, really appreciate simplifying things uh, to get to the essence of things. You know, it's very, it's very easy to get lost in, in, in shred land and jazz land and all these different, you know, where anything could be anything and every note could be a good note and 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 it's art and anything's possible like and while all those things are true um the path to focus on uh you know boiling things down to their very 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 essence uh the musical version of first principles if you will um is a righteous path it is it is one that resonates deep within me um and and I would encourage you all to to consider that as well. You know, you, a lot of you might be watching things like this, or listen to a lot of you know this genre and you know country music in general, and you might say, "Yeah, I get it." You know, it's 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 these three chords. You you use these scales and 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 blah blah blah. But these melodies, this sense, this organic sense of timing that breathes together. See, they're all in this little room. You know, using the natural reverb, listening to each other, making eye contact, you know, mixing their own volumes, you know, adjusting. I mean, that, that's like, that's real stuff right there. And simple melodies that connect simple structures, but why they work, knowing why they connect, boiling everything down to a simple function and, and putting a name to that sound uh, so that you can use it in different places. That will change your life. It will change how you play. I implore all of you to uh, just consider all of that. It's 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 what I preach on my website. It's what I it's what I've 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 kind of dedicated my teaching style to be is more of a, a distillation of what's practical in music that most people know and enjoy and love, and it all kind of started with bluegrass. And I'm forever grateful. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to have a great day. Uh, thanks for liking, subscribing. Please follow me on Instagram at Guitargate. Um, and uh, if you'd like to be like Sean, you'd like to suggest what videos come next, you get to do that because you take my lessons and my courses. It's uh, 10 bucks. It's uh, You get everything that I have, everything that I do. Uh, you get to watch everything, all my videos that I post from YouTube that are blocked and everything else, ad-free. That's coming out this week. Um, Matthew's working his butt off. Thank you, Matthew. And um, that's it. It's the first link in the description. I'd love to have you. Love to be one of your online teachers. And uh, just remember, just keep picking it up every day. Don't keep it in the bag or the box or the whatever. 
Keep it out. When you walk by it, pick it up. Even five minutes a few times a day is better than 30 minutes every other day, right? Or an hour every four days. It's about repetition and not duration. And uh, again, it's another thing that I preach all the time. So just pick it up, keep it in your hands, try to get a little bit better each day. I'm doing it. Do it with me. Do it with Sean. Um, and keep sending me great tracks. Good Lord. Thank you.